Boolean operations area. Here I have uh, sets of spheres and they're occupying each other's space. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that in our top view. You can see that they're sharing each other's space here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go and pick on the left one as being our operant A. Then I'm going to go into my uh, command panel, go to create, go to geometry, and I'm going to go to compound objects. I'm going to pick boolean. Now I'm going to make sure I have the move and pick operant is my B and the first operation I'm going to do is union. So I'm going to go and pick my operant B and I'll pick on this one right here, uh, sphere number two. And now I've unioned those two together. They're all one item. I'll right click the finish. And so it this here is all one item. And this is a union. Okay. Now let's do the same operation. I'm going to pick on uh, the one on the left. I'm going to go to Boolean. I'm going to make sure I'm on move. I'm going to come down to intersection. Now I'm going to pick operand B. And when I pick operand B, the intersection is the area they share in common. So I'll pick on sphere 4 and boom. You can see now I'll right click. Oops, I'll right click and now I have the area the two shared in common. In union, I had both volumes. In intersection, only the volumes they both shared. Now let's try up here and let's pick on uh, the purple one as the left one as being operant A. I'll go to Boolean. Make sure I move. I'm going to come down and do subtraction. A minus B. I'm going to go A minus B. I'm going to pick my operant. So I'm going to pick my B operant. So I'm going A minus B. And boom. It picked out A minus B. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out here. And you can see over here how it cut that part out where B was. Uh, so, so A subtracted, B was subtracted from A. Okay, A minus B. Now, let's go back and pick sphere on the left. I'm going to go to Boolean. This time I'm going to go to subtraction B minus A. And I'll be move and I'm going to pick operant B. And I'll pick my operand B. Boom. And you can see this time, I right click. You can see this time it removed A. So B minus A. So I had B was over here. And now it's subtract the one on the left. Now, anytime I come in and do a Boolean, I have those uh, particular operations. I also have a cut operation. And a cut operation is kind of like a slice. It's slicing the volumes of the object. And I have four different scenarios. Um, in this particular case, I have refine, which is default. And the refine will add in new vertices, faces, edges to the operant A in which uh, operant B intersected operant A. So in other words, in normal operations, we just slice. We're not putting any new vertices in there or new faces or anything like that. But when we come down to do cut, it now will start controlling how we want to add in any particular vertices or faces or even edges. So um, refine actually will come in then and it will put in new ones. Uh, for us. We could also go down to split and split adds a double set of new vertices, edges, and faces uh, where B intersected A. So we could do that as well. Ooh, hey, ooh, ooh, hang on here. Sorry. Uh, and I can go down to remove inside. 
And the remove inside removes all faces uh, of the operand A that were inside of operand B. So, and I could also remove the outside, and this removes all faces on the outside uh, of operand A that were out of A that were outside of operand B. So in reality, these just treat it as a volume. And then down here in cut, um, we kind of treat it more as um, it was a an object with you know vertices and faces and edges. Uh, so if we want to see the effects of these cuts, we need to convert the operands to an editable object. So they need to be an edible mesh or an edible poly. All right. So the operations area of the uh, booleans, uh, our main scenarios here are union, intersection, subtract A minus B, subtract B minus A.